All right, so we're getting close to the start of the season, and I think it's time to finally go over predictions for this 2019 Miami Dolphins schedule. Now, I know I kind of say a lot on this channel that we're, yeah, we're kind of trying to rebuild, and maybe this just doesn't matter at all. But I say, honestly, why not? There's players that want to compete, and they want to keep their jobs, whatnot. Let's just go over the schedule. So, to start out the season, we got versus Baltimore. I mean, at least we're at home, right? <laughs> uh, I think we'll lose that game. It's just, you know what I'm talking about if you're a Dolphin fan. This is a, a, never a good... Baltimore, if they were the worst team in the league, they'd still defeat us like 60-3, to okay? The, the, we're just, it's not a good matchup. We'll be 0-1 to start the season. Then versus New England, that's another straight home game. And I think we will win this game. We've had New England's number in South Florida, and I think especially if Ryan Fitzpatrick starts, we'll win this game, because that's, whenever he like just starts for a team, he's always on his hot streak, I don't know why. And then week two, New England's on their bad streak. It's still in Miami, uh, it's gonna be hot. Everyone's hyped up about the Miami Miracle. We got our new white throwback jerseys, everyone's excited for it. I think this could go well. I think we'll go one and one, even if we have Josh Rose in there. Uh, at Dallas uh, for week three. This is our first road game of the season, and I think we do lose. I don't really think Dallas is going to like make the playoffs this year just because the NFC is so good, but they're still a good team. I think they've just got a better roster than us. That Dallas crowd is just going to be a lot. I don't know. I, I, I think we'll kind of fall back to earth a little bit there. We go one and two. Then at home versus the Los Angeles Chargers for week four. I'm still going to say we lose, but I do think that we'll keep this game close because we've kind of had the Chargers number recently, and it's nice that we actually got this game at home. So I do think we'll go 1-3, but definitely expect this game to go a little closer than you think. Then week 5 is a bye week. We'll be all rested up. Week 6, it's versus Washington. It's just another home game in week six. Look back at the recent Dolphin games. They just always do super good in week six. I don't know what it is. They just always do. And this is a really good opportunity for it because Washington's not a bad team, but they're not, you know, some standout good playoff team. So there's a good chance here. We get them at home. Not a one of the best teams in the league. I think we'll get a bounce back win here. Two and three there. At Buffalo for week seven, uh, Buffalo probably is better than I say they are. I just, I don't think it's this year for the Bills. I just think maybe in the future, but I will say we lose that game. We go two and four at that point. Buffalo, it's just a hard place to play. I don't, I don't, at least we don't get it in December like we've been getting, but man, it's, it just doesn't look pretty. Um, at Pittsburgh, Monday night football for week eight. Our only primetime game of the year. Now, the Steelers always play bad against the worst teams in the league. I don't know what it is. I don't think it'll be that way this year. I think this year, since they missed the playoffs last year, they're going to be more, you know, ready for it. I think that was kind of a wake-up call for them. And I think we will lose this game. But I do think we'll keep it close. So, I think we'll go 2-5 and five at that point, but still very close. New York Jets at home for week nine. Uh, Adam Gase is the coach, so he might know a thing or two about the opponent he's playing just because it was his former team, but I think that crowd is going to be really loud. We're going to be hungry for a win at that point, and we're usually pretty good against the Jets, so I think we'll win. That would put us at three and five. We could take care of the Jets, um, and we've just always done good against Sam Darnold. I know he's a rookie, but not looking too good against our secondary at least <laughs> uh at indianapolis for week 10 loss three and six not much explained to do there colts are going to be a good team this year and it's just especially in that stadium Ugh, i don't know that's that's they're probably looking at us as their easiest game let's just be honest buffalo at home for week 11 i think we steal a win well we can go four and six you know, Buffalo, again, not terrible, but not that good either. I think they're bad enough to where we could steal a win. So, four and six, you know, not the worst. You know, playoffs don't look super likely at that point, but definitely not as 
bad as maybe people were expecting. It gets a little tough down the stretch, though. It'll be at Cleveland for Week 12. I think we'll lose that one. Puts us, uh, puts us at four and seven. Philadelphia in Week 13. Yes, we're home, but Eagles. They're a legit Super Bowl team. I think we'll lose that one, four and eight. At the New York Jets, I think Gase will get his win this time. Uh, we'll lose. That would put us at four and nine. We do stay in MetLife Stadium to play the Giants afterwards. And, uh, like, I know the Giants are the laughing stock this year because everyone makes fun of all their offseason choices. I think we're going to try to lose this game on purpose because at that point, if we only have four wins, they might as well be thinking like, oh, okay, well, then let's just get a good draft pick. Giants are going to be having four wins and think they actually have a playoff shot. <laughs> now, I know they're in the NFC East and that's a weird division, but come on. So I think stupidly the Giants will win this game. <laughs> But yeah, so whatever, we'll give you your win there, Giants, but just know that we got a better future. We'll be in 4-10 at that point. Cincinnati at home, it's our last home game. That's in week 16. Um, Bengals are underrated just because they had a lot of players last year that were injured and when they had a playoff shot. So I think we'll lose that game. It would put us at 4-11. and I think Bengals have a shot at making the playoffs at that point, so they'll be trying to win. And then the last game is going to be at New England. Um, it's just we haven't won here since 2008, so I would ex just expect a loss no matter what. We'll probably be 4-12 and 12 to end the season. So 4-12 and 12 is my prediction. I know that's not what Dolphin fans want, but I do think that's the realistic expectation. 4-6 and six midway through the season, so definitely not the worst. And there's two games that I feel like we could sneak out. I think we could maybe sneak a win against the Chargers just because we play them well. And then maybe the Steelers game. But that's just what I think. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll catch you next Thursday for the next episode. Fins up.